Good morning. Today we are going to talk about Charles Darwin and his amazing theory of evolution. Charles Darwin was born in Shrewsbury on 12th of February 1809. He was very interested in nature but seemed to dislike school. He had a strange habit of collecting beetles. When he was older he became a naturalist and was invited on board the HMS Beagle for five years to study nature. He attended Shrewsbury School with his brother Erasmus, but he hated it. Fortunately, the school was close to home, so he often ran away to home to meet his family and dog Sparky. Science time! Charles Darwin, oh what a wonderful man. Currently, he is in the Galapagos Islands researching rare animals. Today, we are going to learn about adaptation and Darwin's theory of evolution. Let's talk about giraffes. Darwin believed that the, the giraffe with the long neck would be more successful than the giraffe with the short neck because if the tree leaves were to grow higher up in the tree, they'd be able to reach them. Therefore, their offspring will inherit the long neck and will survive longer than the giraffes with the shorter necks. And of course, he was right. It's a fantastic theory, isn't it? We are currently in the Galapagos Islands to talk about Darwin and his wonderful discoveries. Today we are going to talk about finches. Oh look, there's two now. We are also going to talk about, talk about Darwin, who just studies them. Charles Darwin went to South America and discovered one type of finch. And he found out 13 different types here on the Galapagos Islands. All their beaks were different sizes and had adapted for different reasons. Hello and welcome to BBC Fame. Today we are very lucky to be able to contact Mr Charles Darwin himself. Unfortunately, he is now in the Galapagos Island studying the finches. But we have managed to contact him using the amazing technology of Skype. Ah, here he is. Hello, Hello Charles Darwin. Hello, my good friends. Um, why aren't you moving us? Are you unhappy? It's okay, don't be sad. Is your research going okay? What do you mean? Oh, it's probably just the Wi-Fi over here. It's terrible. I can't even go onto Chrome to upload my new discoveries, or Wikipedia, or even YouTube. Oh my goodness. So Ella's latest video is out, and it's just torture not being able to watch it. It teaches you how to make a milkmaid braid. Don't you think that will look great in my beard? Anyway, you were saying? That is torture. Okay, let's get started with the questions. When did you first start to be get into being a naturalist? I began to enjoy nature since I was just a little squirt. When I was only five, when me and my father were in the garden, he told me to count every single flower. That's very interesting. Next question. Your father wanted you to become a doctor, but he disagreed. Why did you not become one? Oh, well, after watching two revolting surgeries, I decided it just wasn't for me, so I chose to be a naturalist. Good for you. OK, last question. What did it feel like living abroad? It's terrible. I get seasick every day. It's just so terrible. I always feel incredibly relieved when I step onto land. I spent, I spent so much time on, on board that I made a new quote. Struggle is the father of all things. I know we said it was the last question, but we just thought of a question that not many people will know the answer to. Go on. What does it feel like to be famous? It's totally amazing. I get mailed free things every day, and everyone knows about me. Plus, I have over one million followers on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Wait, he has Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook? Yes, of course I do. You have to catch up with the modern world if you're famous. Thank, thank you so much for letting us interview you, Charles Darwin. No problem.